Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to the inaugural episode of my new commission painting blog. Uh, this is not yet the blog itself. This is sort of introductory, and I'm kind of working through the whole thing myself. But with uh, one week before uh, I start moving to painting full time, I've been trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with my time, how I'm going to schedule that time. I've got a lot of new clients and a lot of new work lined up. And so uh, I want to be able to more effectively communicate both with the clients and with uh, my subscribers. That's you, I hope. Uh, I hope this isn't where you decided to jump in on uh, my videos because this might seem a little weird. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Uh, I'm kind of winging it. Uh, but the, the, the idea here is that uh, I'm going to use this vlog to show off the work that I'm currently doing for clients, talk a little bit about that work and a little bit about the process and you know all the stuff you, you probably come to expect from my uh, work in progress videos. Uh, the only real difference being that uh, I'm, I'm going to be more customer focused, I guess, on uh, in these videos. I still want to make it interesting for everybody. So, uh, although I'm going to be primarily talking to the people who are paying me to paint miniatures, uh, I'm hoping that I'll be providing information that everybody's going to find interesting as well. So, there's that. So, the other thing I wanted to do here is talk a little bit about my move to going full time. Um, first thing, the overwhelming support and positive feelings that I've been getting from my YouTube subscribers, my friends, my family, and everybody has been fantastic. Uh, regardless of how I feel about uh, the craft of painting minis, there is something weird about saying as an adult that, hey, I'm going to stop doing my regular job and I'm going to paint miniatures for games full time. There is, <laughs> there is a sort of trepidatious uh, feeling one gets uh, when you're about to say that phrase to, well, pretty much anybody. And uh, I, I'm not sure why. Um, I mean, part of it is that it feels weird to be going, just doing any freelance work, I think, uh, and trying to make a go of that. So there's, there's the kind of fear that, fear of failure, I guess you'd say, fear of failure, like this isn't gonna work out. So, uh, you know, and then I'm gonna look foolish for having tried it at all. But the other thing is, I mean, when you think about it, it, it sounds really odd to anybody who is not actively involved in the hobby and there's nothing else to be said of it, it just sounds weird um, so you know when I put it out there that I was going to be doing this and I, all I got was uh, super positive messages from everybody that was very very helpful and I greatly appreciate it and thank you so much you all know who you are uh, so yeah so Thanks again. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'm, I'm about a week out. And right now, I'm doing uh, what is effectively kind of part-time here at the game store. Um, and for those of you who don't know, and I've mentioned this several times in the past, but you know, not everybody has seen the other videos, but I own a game store. I used to own two game stores. Um, uh, I've owned Greenfield Games in Greenfield, Mass. Uh, since 1999. And uh, we used to have a second store that we recently closed down. And when we opened the store originally, uh, and for most of its life, uh, I helped out. But I, I was really more of, uh, I wouldn't say a silent partner, but I certainly wasn't the most active participant in the store. Um, and it wasn't until 2011 when we opened the second store that I jumped on board and started doing uh, full-time management of the other store um, but with that store closed you know I was off looking for other things to do and frankly this just seemed like the right time this is kind of something I've always wanted to be able to do 
and uh, with the number of clients that I have now, it's definitely, uh, it's a real possibility. Now, speaking of that, um, I am all booked up through February. Like all of my February work is in-house and is waiting for me to finish my January work and then I'm gonna start working on the February work. Uh, March work is already in negotiations. Uh, March is still, I, I would guess, mostly open, but not completely open. Uh, I think the beginning of the March, the beginning of March is probably already set at this point, uh, although nothing is completely set in stone yet. So if you are interested in having me um, paint things for you, uh, the earliest I can get to it is March and um, you'd have to get in touch with me soon. But anyway, that's how things have been going. Like as I've been doing um, you know, more, more videos, well, since I did the last video, uh, I've been having lots of new clients come out of the woodwork. I've had old clients uh, contact me again. I've had um, clients who want me to work for them on a monthly basis, which is, that's a first. Um, and I think previously not really possible unless that they were the only ones I was going to be painting for. Uh, but yeah, doing this has really opened up a lot of new, a lot of new possibilities, a lot of new avenues, and I'm super excited. So yeah, so just back to what I'm going to be doing with these videos. Um, I'll be doing things just like, well, actually, I've been working on um, some Kador stuff for a client. This is January work, and I'll be showing it to you somewhere over here. Um, and in this case, you know, you're seeing still pictures, but hopefully we'll see more kind of work in progress from the desktop uh, as I'm doing it, just like my old uh, work in progress videos. And on top of that, I am still scheduling myself for doing uh, one tutorial style video a week, whether that's going to be a full on how to paint uh, a particular mini or whether it's going to be a particular technique. Um, I'm, I'm trying to set aside one day a week to do that. So if you have ideas of what you would like to see in that kind of video, leave it in the comments. I definitely need the ideas. It's really weird because sometimes, uh, you know, people will ask me, hey, why don't you do a video on this? And and my first thought is always, aren't there already videos on that? But not everybody sees all of them, and, and maybe I can add something to that. So, you know, anything goes. You, you want to see me demonstrate how to paint something uh, or do a particular technique, leave it in the comments, and I will definitely consider it, and I'll have a lot more time to do it now. Uh, on top of that, I'm actually going to try and become more active in the overall uh, community. And so, for example, at the beginning of the March, the March, at the beginning of March, uh, I will be going to TempleCon in Rhode Island. I think that's where that is. I was originally going to attend for one day, um, but as it turned out, my son had a room uh, for the whole con and an extra bed. So I'm going to be there for the entire con. Now, the interesting thing here is that I have February work that I need to get done, and that's four days that I can't really lose. So I'm going to bring all of my painting stuff with me. I'll actually be painting at the hotel uh, and scheduling time for both. So I'll be doing some painting in the room and going out and experience the experiencing the convention and doing videos. I want to see all the really cool miniatures. I want to see all of the cool tables. I want to see if maybe I can get in an interview or two. Um, and if you see me there, feel free to say hi. Um, I, I've when I was at Gen Con uh, in August, I had several people come up to me during the show and just say that they'd seen my videos and, 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 and thanked me. And it was really uh, weird and exciting and wonderful. And I never tire of it. I don't understand people who have any sort of public persona kind of shying away from that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if, you, if you're like a real celebrity, uh, it gets to be too much, and maybe I can understand that. But for right now, every time somebody comes up and says, hey, I saw your video, uh, I get excited. 
Um, unlike the first time somebody did that and I got terrified because I couldn't believe people were actually watching my videos. Now I've, I've come to terms with that, so there it is. Uh, in any case, that's it for now. I just, you know, I, I really wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about what was coming and talk a little bit about what I'm doing and sort of get another video out because I know I've been horrible uh, about my productivity, productivity, not, not productivity, productivity. <laughs> anyway, and getting more videos out. It's just been awful. Uh, so... I need to get back into the hang of it. And the new camera really seems to be working out. I'm liking it. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, and it's light and, and easy to work with. And why, am, why would I not be using it? I don't know. Anyway, that is going to be it for now. Any questions, any comments, anything, leave it in the comments below. I read them all. Seriously, I do. I read every comment. I don't answer all of them. I try to answer all of them, but sometimes it just doesn't happen, but I try to. So if you have a question, there's a really reasonable chance that I will answer it. <sighs> anyway, thanks again, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, your support is always appreciated. That's it for now. I will talk to you all later.